right, so we're gonna start the medication um, or the intramuscular injection demonstration. Uh, so again, with intramuscular injection, we need to make sure that we have the proper medication. I'm always doing our 10 rights of medication administration, um, ensuring that our patient doesn't have any allergies to the medication that we're going to give them. And obviously, having already provided, um, gotten the person's consent to administer this medication. Uh, so in this case, we're going to do oxytocin administration um, for active management of the third stage. Uh, I'm going to illustrate two other sites other than uh, the thigh for medication administration. Uh, for oxytocin administration, we would typically use uh, the anterior vastus lateralis, the thigh muscle, for um, intramuscular injection. And uh, other times we might use another site, would be the ventral gluteal site uh, for the administration of Winro or the administration of therapeutic rest medication in early labor. So that would be morphine and gravol. We can also sometimes use the deltoid site, so on the shoulder, for uh, medication administration for Winro or Rogam as well. So today we're gonna do oxytocin. So we're gonna make sure that we have the proper medication, all of our supplies. We have 10 international units of oxytocin for active management of the third stage. We have a fill needle to drop our medication out of our vial. We have a three mil syringe. We have an alcohol wipe to prepare the skin. We have a needle that's appropriate for an adult, the 22 gauge, one and a half in this case. And we have a medication label. Because we do draw up oxytocin prior to medication administration, um, it's important to have a label on that. If, it, if you're the person that drew it up, um, just ensure that you put a label on it so that you can leave it bedside with the empty vial so that anyone who comes in the room knows that you have um, drawn up oxytocin into the syringe and they can look at your empty vial, ensure that the medication isn't expired and that it is the correct medication. So we will take our three mil syringe maintaining sterility always with our fill needle lid sometimes they're a bit tight so you have to take them off first our oxytocin vial will be sterile underneath this cap so if we remove the cap take our needle to withdraw our medication we're going to withdraw one mil of our medication one mil. This needle is just to drop the medication, not to administer it. As you can see, it's quite a large needle. We wouldn't want to poke anybody with that and it's blunt. So well, now we're going to take our administration needle and sterile to sterile, making sure that cap comes off nicely. And now we have our medication for administration. One 10 mil international units of oxytocin and we're gonna label it. Not really labeling, but this is how you would do it. Sticking it like this so that you can see the amount of the medication that is in that vial. Syringe, I guess. All right. Now to administer our oxytocin, we're going to take our syringe with our medication, um, identify our correct patient, and um, clean our patient with some alcohol prep wipe for 30 seconds in a circular motion. And we're gonna let that dry. 
Now we're going to take our syringe with medication and inject it into the space that we are just cleaned. And you're going to go 90 degree angle into the thigh. Now, because I can't inject into this person, I'm going to move over to our trainer and actually inject into this trainer. So this would be a ventral gluteal injection, but the, for the demonstration purposes, just for an intramuscular injection. So we've, we've cleaned our site, we've landmarked, and we're going to inject our medication into the ventral gluteal. our hand we're going to warn our patient one two three poke ouch ouch at a 90 degree angle withdraw very slightly to ensure that we're not in a vessel and inject our medication into our patient and remove the needle at a 90 degree angle and our intramuscular injection is now complete and we are going to document that either on paper or in the computer depending on where we um, what our site uses for a deltoid administration, you would identify the top, the cap of the shoulder here, and where the deltoid muscle would be, it would be right where my hand is, and I would go right in center into there. It's intramuscular injection.